Good day, good day! <laughs> How the honk are ya? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland, this is your friend Dan O. I just gotta tell you, you know how many takes it takes for me to do that perfectly? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, welcome to Roverland. I am excited. I've got something uh, very interesting. Yeah, look at this beauty. Look at this, huh? I gotta be careful. That front, that front uh, brush guard is kind of loose on this one. Um, man, I don't even know where to start. I, I just don't know where to start. Um, I usually save the best to last, but we've got something else to last. Um, this, ladies and gentlemen, is, oh, let's turn it over. Ba bam Oh, I got it right again, too. All right. Uh, Burgo, made it in Italy. This is the Range Rover, the 124 scale Range Rover. Yes, look at this undercarriage. Wow. All chromed out. Gas tank, leave springs on a Range Rover. Okay, um, it, look, <laughs> I don't know how much driving you're gonna do if you go from differential to front differential, and yeah, they're offset. Boy, Burgo, you didn't do so well with the uh, undercarriage there <laughs> and getting it right for the uh, Range Rover. Yeah, totally messed up. Coil suspension. Uh, offset pumpkin still in this day and age, uh, should have a transfer case and automatic transmission, maybe, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, messed up, and who chromes it anyway, but there you go, this is what we got, these came out in the early 80s, all right, and, uh, this is a classic Range Rover, and, uh, two-door. I would love to have one of these babies in real life. Yes, V8, two-door, haul anything, go anywhere. Awesome. All right, so, um, <laughs> oh, man. Hugo, uh, Martino, and Mario Bezana, Bezana, I believe that's how you pronounce it. They are the guys that uh, first and foremost had Mebe toys, and they sold it sold it to Mattel. M e b e toys, Mebe toys. All right. So once the uh, Hugo, Mario, uh, uh, Martino, and Mario Bezzanio, Bezzania did that, they started the. Mar Toys, M A R X Toys, but uh, kind of a lot of times uh, it would uh, just came out the Mar Toys, okay? So anyway, and that was in 1974, okay? I, I'm get, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. I got I got a point to the story. Anyway, these boys, once they had their pockets filled with Mattel money. They went and they started this other toy company in 1974, uh, close to Milan, Italy, all right? Specializing in a series of 124 scale metal cars with many opening parts. After only two years, the name was changed to Burgo. And so the uh, Mario, Mar Toys, Mar Toys models are rather rare today. And why I mention this is this model, this casting, was one of the original Mar Toys that got transferred over to Burgo. All right? So I got some beat up ones back there. Yeah, okay, that's uh, the worst for last. But anyway, uh, I thought I might have had one, but no, I don't have one. <laughs> so that is the history of this here toy right now. Uh, it's a Burgo, and it, it's it's glorious. It's grand. So anyway, what we've got here is uh, Elf-sponsored Rally des 
uh, ferros, dos ferros, rally dos ferros. And uh, what that is is French. How, how do you like my French, huh? Pretty good, huh? Um, so, in 1982, this uh, rally of the pharaohs took off 3,100 kilometers, or that's 1,900 miles. Uh, it's a rally raid uh, in Cairo, Egypt. Yeah, started from the foothills of the pyramids in Gaza and would uh, start from there and then truck around and then come back. So that is a little bit of where this model comes from. And uh, just a glorious, just a grand model. It, uh, the, the, I should say, not the model, the livery comes from. Um, yeah, look at this. It's, I don't know if I'm missing some parts in there. It's got some pegs uh, for more cargo, but uh, drop... Uh, tailgate and lift lift uh lid look at that can you believe that by land rover look at that on the on the rear tailgate there that is molded right in there range rover on there license mi 1429er 2p that's right we got a niner in there that that uh rear bumper is part of the under gear uh um thing it's got the uh gas can a uh, gas filler here on the uh driver's side this is a uh, uh right hooker uh doors open on this beautiful model uh, as you saw the front the seats do lift up so you can get to the back there uh very very nice chrome steering wheel not so good in the uh summer desert uh heat yeah you burn your hands you need your oven mitts to have that no glass in the door but it has glass on the side it has glass and the rear wiper there for the rear tailgate windshield has uh, uh, wipers uh, kind of embossed there on the front windshield uh, and a beautiful beautiful brush guard on there this one I, I think they're just all kind of loose I was taking a look at it I tried to like push it in and make it better but it's it's not then check this out, ba bam, yeah. Oh, talk, take a look at this too. Right on the side here, Range Rover, embossed, awesome, awesome, awesome. Crazy chrome tires, pretty neat, not uh, stock per se. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get in here and take a look at uh, this um, interior of the uh, engine compartment yeah it's kind of hard to see there yeah I don't know if I can uh, adjust my lighting any better to see that any better I don't know yeah it's kind of kind of crazy but uh, there we go there we go yeah very very awesome very awesome I tell you that oh now I gotta stop and uh, fix my light hold on <laughs> yeah all right, we're going to have to hire a lighting guy here someday. All right, so opening hood, we'll close that. Then it has got a roof rack on it, two full spare tires up there, uh, chrome roof rack, jerry cans on it, a uh, little tool kit with that opens. I kind of leave that open. Uh, Pioneer tools and a fuel can. Yeah, look at that. Or I don't know, maybe it's water. I don't know. It's red. You got gas cans over there. Man, that's oil. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful model. And uh, just, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Go ahead and uh, Google that. It's very interesting. Um, the Rally dos Ferros. Um, just really cool. Just really cool. Uh, let's see. When did they run till? I, uh, 1982 to uh, at least 2015. So very cool, very cool. So that's the best of the best that I've got of this model. Now I picked these two uh, next ones up from uh, an, an individual um, and uh, they are, I, you know, this is almost as bad as Corgi trying to find stuff out, uh, but uh, scale 124, these are a little bit older, I believe. 
but uh, they have the different wheels to them. Uh, but still the same casting. It's got the Range Rover embossed in there. Um, same interior and such and so forth. Uh, very, very neat. The uh, seats fold up and down on this one. Uh, this one had um, the chrome uh, under guard, uh, or, and, and they busted it off. It's just got the rear tailgate and the gas tank, but all the leaf springs and all that have been busted off. You can see the holes here where they were supposed to go. Um, but yeah, very, very neat. Um, got a sticker here on the uh, B pillar. Uh, split window there, kind of kind of cool there. Same thing, it's got the beautiful drop tail yet. <laughs> now these are not stock rear lights. I'm just gonna let you know, this is kind of, uh, yeah, makeshift there. Now this one came, uh, came with uh, some cones and uh, and a stop sign. I don't know if that's really, I, I could not find anything uh, about a yellow Burgo uh, truck. I, I just could not find anything. And I think that this hole on the top is from the manufacturer. Because uh, if you look, and I don't know if you can see it, but the, the plastic for the windows uh, runs the full length of the roof and it it's hard to drill a hole and die cast and not leave a mark on the plastic, i.e. the glass. Just I mean, <laughs> So not really sure what that's all about. It's got the uh, chrome uh, in t uh, steering wheel again, but uh, very, very interesting. So I, I picked that up, I you know, I'm like, I, I love these models. These are awesome. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for them. I, I bought quite a few things from them. Oh, that, by the way, that does have the opening hood again on this one too. So uh, let's just move right along. Uh, so now that I have this maroon one, which is maroon. Um, now this one has got uh, black interior. Uh, the other ones are kind of gray. And uh, so this one's black, so it's a little bit different. And then also the rear. Now this one's got a sticker on there. And this one has got a little vent, which I thought was a different uh, casting altogether, different time area, but it's not. If you look um, on this one here, you can see on that B pillar, there is a hole for that vent. And uh, what they just opted to do is not put that on there. They just put that big sticker on there. Same thing with this one. This one, I was gonna show you that or tell you that, but I wanted to show it to you first. But that's, uh, so I'm gonna say that that may be later on because then they were trying to save on costs. I'm not sure. No hole in the roof. Uh, silk, these are the chrome wheels, like the other wheels. Now this one is missing uh, some of the uh, chrome pieces. It does have the leaf springs, but it's missing the gas cap or the gas uh, tank and all the running gear, but it has the leaf springs. Thank goodness. <laughs> now he added on these uh, decals, all these decals that are on these trucks, I should say, are add-ons. These are, I don't know where from or what, but uh, yeah. Uh, so, some of them look really uh, original, like that one really looks original. I'm not sure about this one here. Uh, the Ferrari, not so much. Um, and I don't know, even the hood, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, uh, this one for sure, I don't, I don't uh, think these are original. Um, uh, John Player Special, I don't think that's, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Now this one's missing some parts up front. The the uh, turn signals and that missing uh, one of the uh, turn turn signals on the back, but uh, yeah, uh, very neat. He's got a lot of stickers on it. Um, yeah, very very cool. Still a drop down uh, tailgate with the uh, lift gate on the back. Very very nice chrome uh, steering wheel once again. Yes, and uh, these uh, the. The uh, seats tilt on it. Very kind of cool. Very kind of cool. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these. I don't even know if you can get uh, 
replacement parts or whatnot. Oh, there we can see that now a little bit better. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. Looking at sideways, huh? Yeah, maybe not this way so much, but uh, yeah. So anyway, um, this was my last uh, re uh, acquirement. Um, I I'll, I don't know. It was an unboxing video. Now this one has got the full get up here. Uh, not so much uh, very chromey as the uh, first one. Uh, you can see that right off the bat. This is very, very chrome. This is just done in uh, gray, gray plastic. But uh, yeah, very interesting. Uh, broke off part here. Now this has got totally a different um, interior. One, it's tan. Two, the seats are stationary. It's got some kind of, um, I don't know, fire extinguishers in there. The, well, the steering wheel isn't original. We lost that, but the dash is original. But this has kind of got some kind of sliding, I don't know, ambulance type thing to it. Now I'm missing the doors to it, but that's, that's crazy. And uh, yeah, it's got these uh, darker wheels, but it's a drab green. I took a look, um, they may have taken this apart, but they did not, I think the paint is original. Just, just in the way that you look under the hood and things like that, um, it all looks original. So I'm, I'm not really sure. Like I say, trying to find the information on some of this stuff is, Unbelievable. So this one here has got um, interesting, uh, some stickers. I thought it was cast there, but uh, opaque, but it's a sticker that kind of goes over there and makes that uh, privacy, I guess, for the, um, for the ambulance. And it looks like there was something that was on the top and then maybe uh, some lights up on top, but I could not figure out or find anything that, um, let me, there's another hole back here that, uh, you know, I, I could find any information on it. It just, I just totally eludes me. I think this is one of the older original ones, uh, due to the fact of the interior. I thought maybe this was a different interior cause it's a little jacked up in the back, but it goes all the way up into the, in, into the engine compartment and stuff like that. So it's not like they found an interior and stuck it in there and that and then then plus the uh, gear shifter is just like the other models so anyway just totally cool totally cool please if you guys know anything about any of these let me know this is about the only one that is popular that is out there you can find information about the other ones not so much uh, they did make some plain ones, but I don't know if the maroon one was one of them, you know, but, uh, the other ones totally, totally lost, totally lost. All right. So anyway, that's it. We're going to get out of here. I totally love this truck from Burrigo, the two door Range Rover. Awesome. 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 Uh, check out the rally dos ferros. The Rally of the Pharaohs, check that out. Get more information about that. Really awesome, really awesome. Kind of like the Dakar Rally, but uh, but not. All right, come on over to Facebook, Roverland. Come on over to Instagram, Roverland channel. And uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up. There it is. And subscribe. I always point over here. Maybe the subscribe's over there. I don't know. Subscribe. Just do that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, we're out of here. Thank you very much for joining me. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.